Hey, everybody. Wow. Hey. They're here again. I can't believe it. Suckers. Suckers. Thank you so much for joining us again in another fantabulous another. adventure of Adam and Josh's Broken Heads. And that's B-R-O-K-I-N. That's right. B-N. Maybe one day we'll give them the origins of We will. That. Once we get like a couple of people who actually watch our stuff, I'll yep. be more than happy to, to delve into the meaning of Broken Heads. I agree. Because otherwise we're just talking to ourselves. Kind Which of we do owe. In large part to my brother. Well, he he kind of pieced it together. Yes, he kind of Correct. took our our um, our sort of meaning and took it to that level. And I and let's not I think forget, it worked. he's waiting in the wings. So if you fuck up, <laughs> you're out, Mister. But like you said, yes, your brother is partially involved in the Broken Heads experience, and at some yes. point we will credit him with his proper title. Sure, we'll give him like an executive producer, you know, just a BS thing down the road. I, I, I hope you – I'm pleased. I know I give you a hard time, but I really hoped you laughed when I sent you – I texted you the other week with the, that, that again. I, I hope yes, you laughed. That I've, I've always got a soft, spot, a, a soft spot in my heart for that because, number one, you and I always laughed when it came oh. to that. Yeah, just the kid in the pitchfork, <laughs> you know, oh and the whole here he yeah, comes, honey. Here he is. Get him, get him. <laughs> so Adams is referring to a scene in RoboCop, again one of our favorite movies. Yes. where um, I believe he uh, he comes into the RoboCop comes into the the house that's being sold, right? Yeah, he's, he's having, having flashbacks, having visions, flashbacks it's, of when he used to live there. But it's not RoboCop; it's Murphy. Murphy as oh. a husband before he was shot, but he is in there as RoboCop. Yes. Correct. He's a flashback. Yeah, all right. Yes. Sorry. And he I flashes think he, back to being yeah. Murphy, the husband. And there's Murphy. a scene when he's looking I at his child <laughs> and his wife. Um, and they're getting ready for Halloween. And he looks like a prom child. The, the, the child's yeah. all dressed up with the devil <laughs> outfit. And he's got the little friggin' trident. He's like, oh. come on, Dad. Take a picture. <laughs> and he's like pointing at the camera. And you're supposed to be, obviously, you've got the vision, the, the point of view of yeah. Murphy. Yes. <laughs> and like, well, always- now, the, the average... Uh, watcher would probably maybe get a little sad a sentimental emotional during that scene but josh and i found it extremely humorous because (laughs) like he said it's really i think the problem child really ties in that scene which i really want to talk to you (laughs) and that too (laughs) and then i'll never forget josh when when i first met josh and we kind of we 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 each had love for robocop and we we, this is when we didn't realize we were so closely like kind of connected with all this stuff and we were talking about that scene, Cut from right? From the right same there. cloth. Yeah, we we really are. And right at that same scene, then he goes into the bedroom and he sees his wife, like, "Oh, I love you, honey." And then the she's wife all goes, mad. She's like, "I really want to talk to you." And so yeah, you think, she's in her okay, nightgown. Flashback. Yes, and you're like, "Oh shit, what were <laughs> you doing, goes, Brody? What were you doing out there, man? What were you being a bad boy?" So what does she, she say? Goes, she goes, "I really need to talk to you." And then Josh, Josh goes because we love to like improvise. Like, and Josh, Josh says. Divorce. He <laughs> <laughs> can't even say it loud. I still, I still remember. He said this to me like five years ago. He goes, "Divorce papers are on the bed. Get out." And I was, I was dying of laughter because it was spot on. That's a spot on thing. Poor little Brody was just getting booted from his house. There he was, all happy, thinking he was having a nice little flashback, and bam, <laughs> the wife's in the old heave ho. Papers are on the bed. Get out. <laughs> because the way she was like, "I really have to talk to you," <laughs> and you thought it was a big thing. You know, speaking of which. So, so whatever happens to the wife and kid? Yeah, that's a good point. After that, there that's exactly all. You no, know, he's he's in the pool. He's all like, you know, he's all messed up. The partner, he's like, they can fix you. They yeah, can they fix Eddie. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, she's gonna be <laughs> RoboCop at. But he still has these thoughts about his wife and kid. Are they just gone? That's a good point. They actually were still alive, right? Yeah, they were still alive. Now, they had they been never... killed by the same thugs, I think that could have made it even a more of a personal thing. And they're gone and out of it. You don't have to worry about RoboCop 2 down the road. I will protect you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they literally, you never see them again. Or no, actually, never. You, you've never seen them. It was no. a flashback. That's yeah. a good point. I mean, it would have been interesting. Um, like, you think he was like, they'll never love me again. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to stick with my robo women. I can stick my port in their receptacles all I mean, day long. Maybe Ed two oh nine is gay. 
spread them. You have 10 seconds to comply. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> and 209, no, not now. <laughs> Watch it, creep. <laughs> oh, my God. Instead of drop it, I meant drop it, Ed. <laughs> drop, drop your it. pants, Ed 209. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes his little his little hand and turns his like, whoop, like a dildo comes up whoop. yeah 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 that thing right what <laughs> yeah <laughs> instead of sticking the gun in the neck you know like a dildo flaccid dildo pops up. what are you doing stop hit me with that dildo <laughs> oh wrong one sorry creep <laughs> <laughs> sorry creep you know how easy it is folks and he's got tears coming out of his eyes I got tears man because, genuine tears because you know? Josh Josh is so good at what I call role playing, and I am as well. Not the kind of role play you, you're thinking of, folks. Yeah, not this that role play. Friendship role play. Yeah, this is funny stuff. Referencing <laughs> movies. Get um, that furry costume on. <laughs> I mean, you know, like for me, like that's like what really gets to my soft spot. The is, soft spot, right yeah, to like you. This type of stuff, because I, I feel like the sky's the limit. Like because you know the history of my life, I have always done this. And there comes a time where you're like, okay, it's Robocop. We did it. We exhausted it. And a year later comes by, and you're right back at it. This whole new shit that you never even thought of. And now that, you've got that's all what's that great about role playing. That that's what's the great best. about comedy. You know, comedy you can best. always change, and you can always go back to the well as long as you change things up a little bit. That's you just got to change it up, and you can revisit yeah. little stuff and add on sure. to it, and then new stuff. Oh, it's yes, the best. absolutely. Uh, Nothing wrong going back to the classics. My favorite. It is. <laughs> Oh, and now, I'm glad speaking we of got classics, to go back. Speaking of classics, I do want to talk to you about one thing. Um, we talked about it last week, and, you know, we can either <laughs> make this a second. But, I, you know, I, I we talked about dentists. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about it. And, folks, you know, you're welcome to chime in. You know, um, as a product of the 70s, uh, literally I was produced in the 70s, um, I, I, I believe, you know, we talked about this. I, have, I grew up with soft teeth as a young child. You had soft water. I had like so. No, I probably. I think I, I think I used soda. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even kidding you. In my bottle, and when I drink my soda with the bottle, I, I, I know this is like. I know what you're saying. I know yeah. where you're going. And and but your teeth. Anyway, then I would just sit there and like dribble on your teeth, and you, and you'd have. And I grew up was going to the dentist so many times, and we talked about like I can handle a needle all day long. Bring on hey, the doc. needle. Bring on the Novocaine. It's not a big deal. The drilling is where I have my issues. Oh, the drilling is just. Yes. And there's I'm two sorry. levels of drilling. So there's your little wee high pitch drill, which does suck. And I've had some horrible stories. But what gets me, and I literally told you this, it's the low, slower, rumbly kind of one that's like. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I get literally my, my, my mm. spine explodes and like a, like I, I just tingle and I don't like it. And now, wait. Wait, stop. I have to stop you. I'm sorry. Now, stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Like she's really hurt there. <laughs> now, <laughs> it looks like you were really hurt there, too. So, yes. obviously, you can't really talk during that instance when that happens, when the drill hits the nerve or, or it mm. gets near the nerve, right? And that's when all that pain really kind of hits you. It's Explodes. just like. It's like Robocop with his little thing. He's like, mm -hmm. if I had one, I'd be sticking the dentist's neck. Yeah. Yeah. So do you ever say like, hey, uh, hold on, hold on. Like, like, no, not talking, but like, raise your hand. Like, stop, stop. Funny. You should say this because I had never done that. Even with the, I've gone through root canals. I've gone through botched um, Novocaine injections and, and, and nerve smacks. And I hadn't done this. I've, I've moved my hands and my feet so the dentist knows that I'm yeah, uncomfortable yeah. in the past. Yep. But I've never okay? done like this until this past time that I was having work done. And it was only because the uh, hygienist that was helping him, um, she was shooting water the whole time oh, God. and sucking the whole time. Yes. And she had my tongue depressed and was shooting water. And the water was in the back of my throat. And I kept on having like, well, I kept on having to swallow. <laughs> and you know when you swallow... Your tongue goes up and down. Well, yep. she had my tongue pressed down with a suction Jesus thing. So the Christ. whole thing is going. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's not a, it's not a pain thing. I'm said, but something's going All on right. with the water. So anyways, Fine. yes. 
Well, that's what All I was right. referring to. That's a different, that's a whole other scenario. That's like horrible placement. Like, you know, because yeah, that's what it horrible. is. It's like this. Uh, you know, you're yes. just like this. Like, 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 uh, <laughs> oh, it's really, <laughs> you know, if for such a small sort of crevice to be able to do all this work, yes. it's just not, it's not a, a, a conducive, like conducive environment. Absolutely. And, and you're like, you're, they're asking, the dentist is asking you to open up bigger, open up, yeah. wider, please open up, wider, open up me. and and you're like, you're draw, you're draw, you're constricting, you're pulling in yourself now, because you're so afraid. May I add a twist to this? My dentists are, are Asian. Mm-hmm. They're very good, but they're Asian, including the assistant. She's Asian as well. And when they work on each, on me, there's one on here and the dentist over here and they'll like talk in Chinese a little bit. And sometimes be like, ah, good. Oh, okay. All right. Almost there. All right. Sorry. Sorry. You know, more Chinese. And I, and, and you know, they know I'm very sensitive. Like if there's problems, they know like take it. So they're speaking me. Chinese. Well, is that a little Chinese? They That'd do. be frustrating. It kind of is. I wouldn't like, know what they're saying. That's all. I know. Like, like oh, no, oh shit, I, I fucked that up in Chinese. <laughs> you know, like you don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Look at the size of that nerve. Oh, oh like, my that, God. that's a fracture. That's nerve. a root canal tomorrow. No, <laughs> tell other know. doctor. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> so going back, uh, when I like, I took a break from the dentist for like six years. I was like, I'm not going to dentist. Like, fuck it. I don't care. Like straight up, you had the yeah. money, you had insurance, but you're like, I had the insurance. I'm not going. I, to, I, I said, I'm, I'm, not I'm going. tired. I hate the dentist. Who the fuck likes the dentist? So I finally said, all right, man, I gotta go. Like, I, I, what am I doing? Like, I must be. Were out you of my experiencing mind. problems? Is that why no. you forced to go again? Or you're like, oh, it's just been too long. I don't recall. I just was like, you know what? It's been so long. I gotta go. I gotta get a cleaning. Like, what's wrong with me? You know, Twice so year, I go every six months. Well, that was that was literally back in. I, mean, I think 2012, 13, I started going again. I think I stopped in like 08, 06, something like that. You got balls, so, kid. I know. Serious well, balls. I'll never make that mistake again. So <laughs> let me know what six year hiatus for you. <laughs> Where have you been? You had 12 cavities. <laughs> uh, sorry. Anyway, so <laughs> so I go, right? And they look me over. They're like, okay, you have, first of all, from what I recall, they were like, you have four cavities, two and two. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make a, a, a visit and we'll get them all filled. And all you knew, you probably assumed that you were going to have cavities because you hadn't been there in six years. Of course. And do I you brush I... your teeth faithfully twice every day? 95% yes. Okay. There are days right. I did it. Like today, I didn't. I didn't. And you do it for two minutes. Do you have a little timer? Or are you, Absolutely. Are you timing yourself? Okay. Two electric minutes. Electric toothbrush? Yes, I love it. It's electric boogie woogie woogie. Yeah, Mr. You Quip. can feel it. It's, hey, you leave my Quip alone. All right? I have a Sonic a long Care. way. Sonic Care. A Sonic yeah. Care. Dude, the Sonic Care, we've got them here. Okay? And it's like holding a fucking toothbrush. It's like as, as wide as this. It's like... <laughs> my, quip <laughs> is a fucking, my Quip is like this. It's nice and small. Like a regular toothbrush. No big. This is like Quip. You know, I mean, with the fucking the the brawn. It's like. Is that electric that. razor or a toothbrush? Mine's both. Mine's it's two in one. S- <laughs> <laughs> it shaves the tartar off your teeth and shaves the beard off your face. <laughs> Mine's pretty yeah. small. I don't know what you're talking so about. So what do you have again? What kind, what's the name of it? The Phillips. The Phillips. Sonic okay. Yeah. Yep. But the so, base isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Well, the base big? is the base is a little bit wider, like. You so know, you can never like take that. the base, right? You could never like brush your teeth and go <laughs> and walk around because the thing's like, right? It weighs a lot. Well, it is a little bit heavier, yeah. Yes. And if it was on, it would probably shoot out of my mouth and hit somebody in the face. Right? <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> you hit me. I get a black guy. <laughs> so here's the, here's the funny part. So I haven't been to the dentist all these years. I say, okay, let's make an appointment. Let's fill them all. Four cavities, yep. You're going to do them all at once. All at once. One, That's two, a lot. Three, four. Yes. Little did I know. So <clears throat> they the dentist start... didn't warn you from the start and say, uh, four is a lot. Adam, uh, how do I say this? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't recall. I uh, maybe one a month we do. <laughs> Pain too great. No, I only uh, the legal limit for Novocaine is four cc's. This would require twelve. 
<laughs> so, so you like you like you ball up. You're like, okay, I'm gonna do four at once. Yeah, but like I gotta get this done. So she's like, all right, we're gonna do this side first. And she goes, all right, here's your Novocaine. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, damn, I'm really numb on this side. They start doing this one or or whatever. All of a sudden, man, like I don't remember how far in, but like, you know, I'm I'm like this, you know, mm-hmm. you know, and all of a sudden, man, like I felt like I couldn't swallow anymore. Because the Novocaine had gone back to your throat. First of all, like, uh, this was numb, like, up here. Yeah. And then, like, down here. I I felt like I couldn't swallow. And I was like, I was like, hold on. I was like, stop. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) Yo, they stop. I get up. I get up. You got out of the seat. I got up out of the seat. I was like, hold on. I was like, I feel like I can't breathe. I got up out of my seat. There was a window. I went to the window. I was standing there. I was like, I was like, I know I could swallow. I guess it's an illusion. I was like, it's the Novocaine. I'm like trying to feel my tongue, my, oh my, my lips. God. Which, which, of course, feels like it's six feet friggin', you know, tall and long in your <laughs> yes. mouth at that point. Yeah, so, and, all right, so I, the end result was I was like, all right, I'm not doing all these today. And, and when I can't remember if they ended up doing both. I think they just did the one. Really? Because then they, you had the and freak I, out. And then, and then I left. And then I came back and I started doing them in fragments and I finally got them all done. But that, I'll never forget that. I literally felt like I couldn't breathe. That's like scary. I, I was like. That's because you just don't know. Like your mind, oh like that's God. how it feel. Like it's, it's yes. one thing if you got up and if you looked in the mirror and you open your mouth and you saw nothing was huge, but it just, it feels that way. It's scary. It really was scary. And, you know, I went last week to get that cavity filled, uh, to refilled and you know, I remember when she gave me Novocaine just for like five seconds. I felt this sensation. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, what the fuck? What is that? I was like, is that, am I getting like giving myself anxiety or something? You know, because, you know, when that happens, like you start mm-hmm. to, you get hot, you know, or whatever. Yes. And luckily it, 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 it passed and I was okay. But I mean, Jesus Christ, I got to go back in a couple of weeks. It's like nonstop. I hate to do this to you, but you know the one thing I always think of when I'm getting getting uh, Novocaine administered is you always you you've met somebody along the way that was getting a Novocaine injection and they hit a nerve, and they come out and they always have like black and blue. Have you ever seen that? I've seen several people that had got like a Novocaine hit a nerve, right? What? And they yes, and their faces are totally black and blue. I've seen it. Three or Jesus four or five Christ. people. I wish you would have and said so that. And so every time, I'm sorry, I knew it. I knew it. Every time they give me that, that Novocaine, I'm like, are they going to hit a nerve? Are they going to hit a nerve? Well, I know they hit a nerve. I mean, just going to go home and am I going to have a giant black and blue mark on my Hi, jaw. sweetie. What <laughs> happened to you? Don't tell me another bike accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're stopping right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. I mean, they seem to, like, like I said, because I've been there for a while, Yep. They know to like take like extra care of me, so maybe and you've been they... going to the same dentist for a long time. Yes, since you moved I, up this I way. I speak Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, anyways, well, folks, well, yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging out with us. You know, it's it's been a it's uh, it's been a minute to us, but it's only been a week for you. Uh, we do hope you enjoy it, and uh, you know, keep looking out. Uh, please smash that like button and make sure you hit the bell and subscribe. Smash. I, that's what they say. Like, like you, uh, you got to smash the button here, and you got to just, just touch that one over there lightly. So smash. Do, and now then we touch. do it too. I think it's gonna be down here. Down right there. It's up here. There. I don't there. know. It's somewhere. I can't. I go oh there. Back over here. Whatever. Just push the buttons. Like us. You, hold on. Subscribe. Hold on. <laughs> if they like us, they're gonna push the button. They don't need to be reminded. Maybe they do. Maybe they're like no. Lemming. Nope. Hmm? No, I don't think so. You know why? Because the other millions of idiots on their stupid channel said the same thing a thousand times. A million and a thousand. So let me ask you this. If you um, happen to come upon a channel that you have not seen before, okay, and you may or may not watch it again, but you did watch it, enjoyed it, and you got some entertainment from it, are you going to subscribe? More than likely, no. Okay. So what they said to you at the end and if you happen to be a new guest and you stopped on and enjoyed uh, the show, um, please subscribe and tell us, you know, would you take that in consideration? More than likely, no. You're just a bastard. You know what happens? So uh, just to not so we drag this topic out, but 
<laughs> not, not that we already have. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know what happens? I will – it's kind of stupid and like – because I'm not like on YouTube like 24 hours a day, you know. So I'll just search for that again and try to find it. And – it's sometimes on a rare occasion I will try to find it through my history. Like, what did I? Well, and that's the thing. Thank God there's history. Yeah, I know because you could lose, you can't lose them. I'm not. Oh yeah. You know what? And I need I have, to like clean out all those subscriptions that I have from years ago. They don't even watch anymore. Right. And then no maybe I can any content like broken heads. Yeah. Like, just get rid well, of them. Yeah. Who are they? <laughs> but yeah, and then I could then I would subscribe, and I have subscribed to a, a few, a select few new ones over the recent years, but it's it's very rare. Now you're very you're much more picky than you used to be. Extremely. Extremely. Well, there you go. Folks. Extremely. I do a pretty good Kermit. Um, you do a, hey yeah, guys, not bad. hey, when do you think we can get the show started? I mean, the intro is well, really long. <laughs> oh, hey, hey there. Right. Yeah, you sound great. I think uh, you and I can do something together. What do you think? Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know, normally uh, Disney and the Muppets don't mix. Yo, my my my. Oh uh, uh, no, that's not true. Disney owns the Muppets. You know that, right? Do they? Yeah, so when you go to um, – there's a – when you when – you, this is turning into another thing. But when you go to yes. um, Hollywood, uh, the, the Disney Hollywood Studios, they have a whole thing that they, they own Muppets. You son of a bitch. Uh, my, my niece, she's six years old. She came over the other – last weekend, she had a Disney T-shirt on. Mm-hmm. And I started doing Kermit, and she loved it. And she's like, I love, you know, Piggy and Kermit. And she was like, hey, Kermit, like, what's going on? When's Piggy coming and all this? I was like, well, huh, normally, uh, you know, I don't get into those discussions because you're wearing a Disney shirt and uh, we don't like the Disney characters, you know, and, oh, and I, was, you horrible I was giving man. her a hard time and I didn't even know that Disney is best friends. And by the way, you have to work on your hi-ho. Like, hi-ho, hey, Kermit the Frog. Hi-ho, Kermit the right. Frog here. He would do that when he did like the Muppet News Flash. Dun, 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 and had like a little news flash going on. Hi-ho, Kermit well, that, the Frog here. That was the first line that I learned. How to when I was trying to do really, comedy. yeah. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here. I'm loving this. I and then it was this, we bring Kermit out. <laughs> I like well, it. This was the line I learned like when I was a kid. This this is how it went. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here. Uh, Miss Piggy, can you please scratch my penis? <laughs> wow, you went right the there. That was the line really? I learned. Yes, that was the line you learned. You, can you scratch please my, scratch my penis? My little frog penis. That's really nice. Nothing more than, than ruining the whole bit, kid, with your little dirty course, fucking course. mouth. <laughs> what do we do? Kermit takes uh, Kermit takes uh, Minnie, and Brian has to track them down. How about Kermit calls <laughs> Mickey, who is Mickey, Mickey Mills? Mickey, that's interesting. All right, let me see how you would pretend to be Brian Mills as Mickey Mouse. I mean, that might be a little tough. That's going to be very hard. Yeah, I mean, do you think you can pull up? Hello? Hey, is this Mickey? Oh, yeah, this is Mickey Mills. Uh, Who's this? (laughs) (laughs) Mickey's so good. Uh, This is, uh, hey ho, uh, this is Kermit the Frog. (laughs) Mickey, um. Hey, hey, Kermit, how you doing? Uh, good. Did I get you on a good time? <laughs> you, you, yeah, no problem. I just finished up dinner. Uh, we just cleaned up. Uh-huh. And uh, the thing now we're just uh, having some ice cream for dessert. Well, I hate to interrupt, um, but there's been a problem with Piggy. She's missing. Oh, Piggy? No! Oh, my gosh! Uh-huh. Uh, hey, let me, uh, let me call my friendy uh, Goofy, and uh, I can, we can find some things out for her. I can make some calls. Uh, we, I do have a, a particular set of skills. Uh, that, that will allow me to possibly uh, find her if she's been huh, taken. Huh, huh. <laughs> oh God! I really, I, I really think we should do the Brian and Mickey. That the original well, the, concept was yes, great. right. When I call you, you're you're Brian Mills, and I'm Mickey because Minnie has been stolen. Oh, been that, taken. that that is. That's gold. <laughs> God, we have all these ideas, and we don't all these do ideas. Anything. Where do they where do they get us? No, no Pamela yet. That's totally no, out, out of the what's picture. What's that? I don't know what that is. No. Yeah. Pamela. Pamela Anderson? Oh, what are you right. talking about? Yes. Baywatch? <laughs> yes. So, oh, well, anyways, right. folks, thanks for joining so, us. We had a we, we had a, I had a good time. Did you have a good time? It was fun. We, we shared a lot of content. It was fun. We, we hope we everybody enjoyed content. it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, 
go ahead yeah. and like us and subscribe Still and that. buy the t-shirts. And I'm always going to say it. Well, I'm the gonna say it just to piss ones. you off. I have the t-shirts over here. Hold on. It's good. T-shirts, hats, make broken heads great again. Yes. Make uh, Mac, MAGA. <laughs> make broken heads well, great again. <laughs> oh my god all right well folks uh hope, again, we hope you enjoy it <laughs> we're gonna be seeing you soon but yeah. until then real soon you're gonna stay cool stay funny but more importantly stay broken yes thank you goodbye bye <laughs> all right so uh, that was one another, one we'll outro. Do another outro okay okay all right guys so that's Pretty much going to conclude Broken Heads this week. Pretty I mean, much. Action Pack, would you say? Action Pack. Action Jackson. Drop it, creep. Drop it, creep. <laughs> <laughs> you have 10 seconds to comply. <laughs> you have 10 seconds to subscribe. <laughs> you have 10 seconds to subscribe and smash the button to like the video. Yo, that's funny. 10 seconds to comply, 10 seconds to subscribe. 10 that's seconds good. to comply or 10 seconds to die. <laughs> I am Ed 209. Ed 209. Well, folks, we hope you enjoy it. And, uh, you know, we will try to keep on providing these laughs for you when we can. Uh, remember... Yes. Down the road to stay smart, stay funny, but stay more importantly, broken. broken. Yay! Until next time, folks. <laughs>